gotta make sure the door's locked, you know. Safety first. <laughs> levels on levels on levels I am, but yeah, y'all thinking y'all better. I ain't fucking with these haters right now, they just hang them under like a shackle. Trying to drag me down into the dirt like a dog, I ain't trying. So it is Sunday morning and I think it's about 9 o'clock so I'm gonna head off to the gym now. Um, Isaac isn't joining me in the gym for this session, I think he's gonna train later on. He has some things to go through. He'll explain that to you later on in the video. But i um, tired. Yesterday was an amazing day. We had a photo shoot with two other models. The video is up, if you haven't watched it, check it. Um, so yeah, I'm tired. Got home late, had to edit the video and get it all up before half nine. And then slept, slept like a, like a, like a baby. That's literally it. So today's leg day. Um, nothing else to say. It's leg day. That's it. Like, you know, it's, it's, it's not fun, but it has to be done. Man, who the hell's been going Burger King in my house? God damn. Didn't even bring anything back. That's, that's, that's selfish right there. All the news you Shut the hell up. God damn. Hey guys, so just finished in the gym. Had to run into Lidl to buy some, you know, snacks. <laughs> By snacks, I just, I just mean chicken breasts and chicken thighs. But yeah, session was grand, it wasn't the best. I was feeling sluggish and tired, but that's just probably because yesterday was a hectic day. But um, yeah, and no, I'm happy with it. It's about maybe 11 o'clock now, I'm gonna head home. <sighs> it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun day. No, no, not really though, it's gonna be boring. Wish I was here, man. I missed a lot, you know what I mean? Right guys, so I'm just, just in the car about to head home from the gym. Um, I'm conscious that you guys don't get to spend a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with me just chatting to the camera. You know, Isaac's always here, always, always being the dominant alpha male. Pff, as if you ain't got a beard like me. But on the real, so yesterday we had a photo shoot where Dimitri was one, currently with Eddie, one of our models. And then we had a new guy, Liam Cannon, join the team to be one of our big beyond models. And days like those really, you know, inspire me again and really... You know, they really get my flame going again on the inside because it's easy to feel demotivated at times when progress isn't as fast as you'd like. And when you're juggling a lot of things at the same time, like I'm working full time Monday to Friday in an accountancy form and I got big beyond on the side as well as a part-time business. Then we have A&A &A Fitness and there's just a lot of work to do and I have a relationship as well. So like it's, it's a lot to t kind of, you know, juggle and it's easy to feel down, be frustrated, just like... It's like life's beating you down and sometimes I feel like is it really worth it and days like yesterday just literally the amount of energy the atmosphere just everything was amazing yesterday it was such a such a great day unfortunately PJ wasn't there if he was would have been even better but I'm just saying that even when times times seem tough and life life just gets in the way and you're just like not going your way everything just feels like it's going very slowly it's not as fast as you like just keep at it because one of those one of those days you're going to just get that feeling of like, oh my God, yes, this is why I'm doing what I'm doing. This is why I'm grinding as hard as I am. This is why I'm putting myself through all of this stress, this hard work, this effort. And honestly, I, I couldn't be more happy with how everything's going. Honestly, I love the Brick Beyond team. Isaac and PJ, like literally, they motivate me. They inspire me to keep working hard. You know, the new models that are joining the team, I'm just like, I'm just glad with the way everything's developing. And... Yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say on it, guys. You know, pretty much don't matter. It doesn't matter what's going on at the minute. Life is not supposed to be easy. To chase your goals is not supposed to be easy. You will not be successful without a lot of hard work and, and a lot of effort. But that's what makes it enjoy enjoyable, isn't it? There he is, man of the hour. Call him Isaac. Yo. He got the power. They know. They know. I'm gonna eat the chicken nuggets before I go home Because I don't know what I'm saying But I will know what I'm saying when I'm playing the PlayStation Make Bars, bars, I'm bars, so, bars <laughs> Yeah, no, that's fair enough Like the first week's always gonna be kind of like hit and miss Because I like, implement this if it doesn't suit you But um, it's like I kind of have a concept that's like I was trying to think of a name for it early on and it's kind of called like a safe haven meal so for example like my safe haven meal is that like i would eat like 
250 to 500 grams of like you know vegetable medley each and every day and a fruit bowl because i know otherwise like i probably just wouldn't eat that so it's like there's one meal in my day in which i just eat the same thing just so i can meet my own training and nutrition goals you can make like one meal that's just constant in your day but it contributes a lot towards your training and nutrition goals It's pretty dark today guys. Well look, it's Monday morning. You didn't see me go to the gym yesterday. I was finishing off my deload. So um, last month, my last mesocycle went pretty well, but I still felt like I left a few gains on the table. So I'm moving on to my next mesocycle now. and I'm tweaking my training a tiny bit. So it's gonna be a volume-based linear periodization model. So if you follow me on Instagram, you probably would have seen me talking about like, linear periodization, as the intensity goes up, the volume generally comes down. But what I'm gonna be doing this time is, I'm gonna start the first week doing three sets of eight, for example. Next week, it's gonna be four sets of seven. So the intensity is still going up, but this time the volume is going up as well as I'm putting an additional set. The week after that, it's gonna be five sets of six. Same principle happens again, and then I'm gonna deload. So my new perspective for training is to like, go in there, you know, really challenge your muscle and take deloads frequently. So we're gonna see how it goes, guys. I'll keep you looped in on the cycle. I probably won't record this session just cause I do wanna have the right focus for the very first session and set a few standards. All right, lads, I'll see you after. What is up, PJ? What is up, my G? Yeah, I don't even have my hat on. That's the one thing. It's like, you have to be willing to grow. And if you wanna grow, there's certain things you have to do, obviously. Yeah, we got a few bits done today. We confirmed the size and chat with the manufacturer. Um, the topic of this video is the leaving certificate. I'm sure it's come, I mean, the results are coming out soon. And two I know days, a lot, actually, yeah, two days. Wednesday. A lot of you guys, I know, are stressed, but you guys need to know this. It's not the end of your journey. It's only, it's one thing in your journey literally some of you guys it might be the perfect thing you know to get your leaving sir and then to, you know to go to university but, but, some, but for some of you it's not the route that you you're not sure and that's okay you know it's like man the majority of you guys would probably be 17 18 or whatever it's like you can't be reasonably expected to know what you want to do i'm studying business and law and like i'm finding now as i move on and on that my, my passion is with sports nutrition it's with exercise physiology that's where that's what i'm interested in a lot of people will tell you that the leaving cert is the most important exam that you can take and this may be degree specific but my degree has offered me very minimal practical life skills Every, everything that i've learned and um, that i've applied in this <laughs> is business not with his degree <laughs> is, is, I, did, I did not gain from that degree but um i'm just trying to point you in the direction that education is important like education is 100 percent important but the means by which you get it isn't so you can, Information is at your fingertips. If you want to know about anything in this world, like you can just learn it yourself and do that self-learning. Mm -hmm. And like what I found, even when I've talked to different employers, is that they would probably attach like a 20% importance to your actual degree. And they would rather look at, okay, you know, what have you done in your free time? Have you started any businesses? Have you failed any businesses? Do you like socializing with people? Mm. Are you good at bringing people together? Mm. Do you have a great deal of empathy when mm. you know talking to people? Can you understand different emotions? So I mean, those are the things that I think will stand for you much, much mm. more than what like something on a certificate says. Mm. Unless you're studying medicine, and yeah. <laughs> you know, hey, you're medicine, you, you dissect them it. animals, man, to get your degree, man. Like, if you're trying to do medicine, then you hey. fuck. Man. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you trying to do medicine, you better be reading every day, man. In the room, you know, no food for like two days because you can't eat because like, you feel but like. Time, I think there's another different propaganda and like people look at the likes of you know Mark Zuckerberg and think yeah you know this guy drops out but like oh, no, please no, no, that no. guy was a genius he, oh yeah the, the points the points and that like they're not important if you have great confidence in your own ability to learn if you have great confidence in your own ability full stop then that will take you a lot further than what some certificate says yeah that's wow. the truth mm.